Hello and welcome to another episode of the Tower Podcast. I'm your host, Tower, and today is a very special episode as we are joined by our first guest, B. Um, would you care to introduce yourself? Um, I'm B. I'm 14. Um, I don't know what else. <laughs> I'm just me. Lovely, lovely. Um, how are you doing today? I'm okay. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing well. It's kind of late for me. It's like 7.30 right now. What time is it for you again? Half eight in the morning. Oh, uh, yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's tr- jump right into the questions, I guess. Sorry, by the way, Um, I don't really know how to interview people. This is like my first time. It's okay. I don't know how to answer questions very well either, <laughs> so. Oh, well, we'll learn together. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. First question, um, I already asked you this before, but what is, wait, no, I, wait, no, I haven't, um, uh, what is your favourite My Chemical Romance song? It is The Light Behind Your Eyes. Oh, great choice, great choice. Yep. <laughs> and your favourite album is Bullets, right? It is, yes. That is so real. Um, next question, if you were the world's dictator... How would you serve overpopulation? Is a good question. <laughs> I have not thought of an answer to that one. Darn. Yeah. Good question. Mm. But yeah. Good question. I spent ages coming up with these, I swear. Well, I mean, I didn't, but you know. Um are there any like languages that you'd ever want to learn? Um well, in school I'm learning German, which I would like to learn more of that. Mm. And I went to Spain uh, really, like almost a year ago, and I was learning Russian the whole time, so I'd like to learn more of that. And I would also like to learn Swedish. You were learning... Because I started learning it and I gave up. <laughs> <laughs> you were learning uh, Russian in Spain? Yeah. Mm, nice. What's it like in Spain? I've never been out of my country. Um... Warm. Warm. It's a lot warmer than here. Mm. Wait, where are you again? The UK. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's like like the other side of the world, basically, for me. <laughs> yeah, it's currently 14 degrees Celsius. Oh. Is which that... I don't know Fahrenheit. Is that cold? Uh, relatively. Oh, I yeah. can quickly set up in Fahrenheit. Mm. It's freezing here in New Zealand. Um, 57 degrees Fahrenheit. Ah. Uh. Hmm. I'm guessing it's quite cold. Mm. I heard that, like, in, sure. in New Zealand here, like, some places they're, like, in the negatives, in, like, Celsius. I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit, though. No clue. <laughs> Um, what's your favorite color? Pink. Pink. I uh, love I, pink. I agree. Yeah. I love pink. It's, it's so cute. <laughs> I have a pink bag for school. Really? I used to have a pink yeah. school bag, and I had it for like, like seven years. Um, but I, it, it's too small for me now. Sadly. All I have in my bag is a book and a hairbrush. A book and a hair... Well, those are the necessities. Yeah. I carry a hairbrush around everywhere. <laughs> hmm. Do you like waffles? This is a, a very I important do. question. I do. Yeah. Do you have any yeah. favorite waffle toppings? <laughs> no. Hmm. I haven't had a waffle in ages, actually. Mm. Same, actually. I, I, I used to have like waffles every Sunday, but then my parents complained about that being too unhealthy. So I haven't actually made waffles like in a month, which is like way too long. I haven't had one in maybe a year. <laughs> Wait, a year? Oh, oh my god. That is seriously a so. While. Oh my god. Hmm. Okay, 
This is also a very important question. So, we know that your name is B, but what are your opinions on flies? Flies, um, they're cool. Really? But if they're, like, flying around my face, I do get a bit scared. <laughs> well, fair I enough. I don't like things that fly. Well, I do, but not when they're close to me. Mm. There are, like, always a bunch of flies. Like, during summer, there are always, like, so many flies that just buzz around my room at night. And although I love flies so much, like, they can be kind of annoying at times. Yeah. yeah, one time I didn't sleep because there was a fly in my room. Well, that is not good because sleep is important. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Um, I don't like ice cream that much. Yeah. But if I do have ice cream, um, it's usually like Ben and Jerry's ice oh. cream. Yes, that is... Like, the cookie dough one? That I... was good. I love the cookies and cream Ben and Jerry ice cream. It used to be, like, my favorite as a kid. Um, but one time, like, my father, he got, like, the vegan one. And the vegan... It's not the best thing in the world. And that kind of put me off. Yeah. Mm. I would assume that it's not the best. <laughs> Nothing against vegans, but, like... Yeah. yeah, I agree. Why Why does vegan food just taste not the best? Like, I mean, I, I get that, like, they're trying to, like, um, I guess not eat animals and stuff, but it, it doesn't taste the best, you know? Yeah, it's just something off about it. Mm. The flavor's there, but then it's just, like, not exact, and it throws you off a bit. Yeah, a lot of this stuff usually has a weird aftertaste as well. Pretty off-putting. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, this is kind of a random question, but how often do you, like, wash your hair? Um, every other day. Ah. So one day, I would. Next day, no. Then the day after that, I would. Hmm. Fair enough. Yeah. I guess that, like, having, like, like well... I guess different hair textures have, like, different, like, washing schedules, I guess. I mean, you have straight hair, right? No. It's right. quite, like, frizzy. Sometimes curly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's... Yeah. it's... Mm. Ooh. Do you have a favourite dinosaur? I do. And I had to Google it earlier to make sure it was a dinosaur. <laughs> I'm still not sure if it is. Mm. But bless your soul. Ooh. The water Ooh. guys. Very, very cool. I love dinosaurs. I just I just kicked my desk. Youch. You okay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> um what is your weirdest dream that you've ever had, if you can think of any? This is like a very weird dream. Um so near my house there's this field and I used to go there a lot when I was like between the ages of eight and ten I think mm. and I used to run home from there because it's like five minute run maybe that's so in my dream which was a few months ago I was running back because that's what I used to do yeah. but it was doing the dream thing where you run really slow mm. but then the weirdest thing is that i would like slide <laughs> on the floor and i would go faster you would i would just like accelerate like a car mm. and there's like a roundabout you go up there's roundabout you turn right and it's basically my house <laughs> so i was i went to the roundabout but because i was sliding and i was going fast i couldn't stop for some reason. Uh oh. And then I kept going. And then there was a wall, which isn't actually there in real life. But then I ran around. And then I was like going off the floor because I was running on the wall. And then I just, I just started flying. And then I turned around and I was coming out of an airport. And everything that's usually there wasn't there. Jeez. 
That sounds very, very confusing. Yeah. With the sliding around on the floor and stuff, was that like one of those like slip and slide thingies? Kind of. Hmm. I have not I've been... already been on one. Yeah. We used to have like I used to have one as a child. I like barely remember it though. It was like super fast though. Yeah. Did you ever get dizzy in your dream? Like, you know, from all that flying and sliding around? No, I don't think so. Mm. I get dizzy easily a lot in real life, though. <laughs> if I spin around once, I'm dizzy. Which yeah. I don't think is very good. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's the best. Is that like, like, um, motion sickness or something? Is that what it's called? Yeah, I have, like really bad motion sickness. Yikes. Hmm. Do you ever have, like, lucid dreams? Like, can you control your dreams? Or, like, do you know that you're dreaming in your dreams? Sometimes, but not very often. Mm. But it's just, like, I'm in a dream. Yeah. And I can, like, kind of control what happens, but then some things I can't. I don't know. Hmm. Ooh. Are you a morning person or a night owl? Definitely not a morning person. <laughs> <laughs> mm. For school, I have about 10 alarms, so I wake up. Really? 10 alarms? Yeah. <laughs> I know that a lot of people do have, like, funky alarms, so what, what, what is your alarm in the morning? It's playing one of my Spotify playlists on Shuffle. Ah. So I don't know what it's going to be. <laughs> that sounds very, very cool. Hmm. Oh, what are your opinions on pineapple pizza? I know that a lot of people absolutely hate it, but some people like it. Um, I've had it before, and I liked it. Hmm. I like it's... it very unique yeah it's cool how like um like the sweetness to the pineapple just goes really well in contrast with like the savoriness of like the other stuff yeah mm. Mm. that's like another layer to the flavor yeah i agree oh in your and opinion some people oh uh what do you think is your most like admirable quality um, I have no clue. <laughs> ah, that's alright. Um, if you could have any superpower, what would you have? Teleportation. Teleportation? I thought about this one. Really? Oh. Yeah, because, um, I like to get to places as fast as I can. Mm. So... To be able to just teleport there, that would that would be good. Yeah, that would save a lot of time. I bet that in the future we're gonna have like like telepods, or whatever you know, like in the fly, and it'll be like super duper easy to get around everywhere. Yeah. Hmm. What's your favorite food? Probably pasta. Pasta. What do you like? Pasta. Um, just any, really. Any? Yeah, fair enough. We had spaghetti. I want to make pasta. You want to be pasta? Make pasta. Oh, make pasta. <laughs> yeah. That, that makes more sense. Is it, like, tricky? Like, do you know anything about making pasta, or do you just, like... Um, I, I think you literally just make, like, a bowl out of flour put eggs in it and then just mix it and oh. then you have like the dough for it and then you just roll it out really that that, got it. that actually sounds kind of simple but i bet that it'll it be does. like like really quite complicated for some reason yeah mm. i've never made it so mm. hmm Um, if you don't mind sharing, 
what things are important to you in life? Like, what are your priorities? Um... I don't know. I yeah. thought about it, but I can't think of anything. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Uh, what, what's another question? Uh, what do you want to do in the future? Um, I would probably like to write, which I do mm. quite a lot. And I would also like to make music. Yeah. Yeah. You play guitar, right? I do. Mm hmm Do you, um, are there any other instruments that you'd like to learn or know how to play? Um, I can kind of play piano a little bit. Ah. Nice. Yes, I can play Welcome to the Black Parade. <laughs> um, I was going to learn how to play drums. But whenever I played on them, I got shouted at because it was too loud downstairs. Mm. They weren't real drums. They were like electronic drums. Yeah. So I don't have those anymore. Um, I would like to learn bass because that's bass. pretty similar to guitar. Yeah. Bass is um, pretty cool. What else? Yeah, bass is cool. Mm. Um, I can't think of anything else. Yeah. Um I'd like to learn guitar more. Yeah, learn as guitar well. more. I've always wanted to learn how to play guitar, but like my like coordination with like my movement it, it's it's horrible really. I like people who play guitar, I think that they are really talented, so that's actually super difficult that you can do that. Yeah. Mm. I can't play many songs all the way through though. <laughs> that's <all laughs> not that good. Hmm. Do you have any childhood memories that have, like, impacted your life, like, heavily or anything? Um, not heavily, but I have this memory from when I was, like, two or three. Um, I tried to make myself some porridge, and <laughs> I put it into the microwave with a spoon. Yummy. That didn't end well because... Don't put spoons in microwaves. <laughs> Don't put spoons in microwaves. Well, at least you like microwave yes. safe spoons, right? Yeah, it was a metal spoon though, so. Mm. Um, what what was the af aftermath of that? Was did it <laughs> Um I don't remember. I literally just remember after like putting it in. And then yeah, I don't remember anything else. Yeah. Microwaves are confusing because, like, I swear, you can put, like, a bunch of different stuff into the oven, but with the microwave, it's completely different, and if you put the wrong thing in there, then it's just going to explode. Yeah, I think it's because of the metal. It, like, reacts with the waves that it produces, which makes it spark. I'm not a scientist. Don't take my word for it. <laughs> okay. Um... What's your favorite subject in school? Ooh, um, probably music or German. Music or German? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Oh yeah, because you're learning German, right? Yeah. Mm. I am. I'd love to I'm have like, going like different to uh, Germany. You you want to go to Germany? I'm going to Germany for in, in school with people from school. Oh, nice. yeah. That sounds very fun. I wish that my school like taught like different languages and stuff. That would be pretty epic. Well, I mean, we have a Japanese class, but that's yeah. I've already finished that class. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Wait, hey, this is already like, like. 20 seconds left and then the interview's over. Um, oh. Did, did you enjoy this? Any feedback? I enjoyed it very much. Thank you. I'm, Thank I'm you for having me. I'm glad to hear that. And to any of um, the viewers out there, um, if you want to be like B and be featured 
on a Tower Podcast episode, then contact me at itismetower at gmail.com. Any last words, B, before we end the interview? Um, no. <laughs> Just have a good day. That's amazing. Have a good day. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get all the latest updates. Bye-byes. Thank you.